So I come to tell you he's alive, to tell you that he dries every tear that falls. Hello, this is Clint Louie. I'm coming to you with five minutes from friendship. Hope you're having a great day today. Are you one of those kinds of people that's just energetic on top of it? I mean, that person that's just, you know, you just got that drive and that passion, that enthusiasm. Or, or are you that type of person that, man, you need somebody to crank the engine to put the jumper cables on the battery and get you jump started and drag on through, you know? <laughs> Have that energy and that passion. Yeah, I want to talk to you a little bit about that today, if I may, please. Having, having that drive and that passion. There's a good Bible word that you and I ought to be familiar with. It's the word zeal. Zeal. Zealous. Zeal. Are you a zealous person? A zealously, per, zealously affected type person? You know, zeal. Did you know Jesus was a man of zeal? That's right. Our Lord Jesus was full of zeal. He had passion and drive and enthusiasm and energy. And the Bible even tells us, you remember the story in John chapter 2, when he came to the temple and he saw the, the money changers sitting there. And you remember he, he saw them and it just bowled in his blood and he thought that they've made his father's house a den of thieves. And he goes in there with, with, uh, with uh, scourge he made of cords and whip and he drove them out of the temple. And he overturned the changer, the, the table of the money changers, you remember? And I mean, you see coins flying everywhere and maybe doves and animals being turned loose and birds flapping around in the temple, in the courtyard and people running, taking cover and people thinking what on earth is going on and maybe somebody reaching down, grabbing a handful of coins that were running or, or you know, rolling along. And when the disciples saw it, you remember what they said? They said uh, in John chapter 2 and verse 17 that the disciples remembered that it was written, The zeal of thine house hath eaten me up. They remembered the scripture and they thought, man, he just eat up with zeal. Well, to be truthful with you, that's, that's the kind of man I want to be. I don't mean that I'm going to go home tonight or tomorrow or whatever and start overturning the tables at my house. My wife might have something to say about that. She might get zealous if I did that, you know. But I do mean that I want to live my life with some passion. And I'd like to live my life with some energy. And I'd like to live my life with some enthusiasm, don't you? Especially when it comes to God. Especially when it comes to my faith in God and the Word of God and church. I think if there's anything on this earth worthy of you and me having zeal for, it ought to be the things of God. It ought to be the name of God. So I want to ask you again, are you an enthusiastic, zealous type person, energy type person? You know, or, you know, are we the type of person that when it comes to now the things of God that we could, man, the alarm clock gets, uh, goes off and man, we're up, we're bounding, we're ready to roll. <laughs> or let me hit that snooze button and get about four more hours <laughs> worth of sleep. And then I drag out and then drag into church late and then <laughs> drag through my day. And, and, you know, that's just how it goes. Listen, in truth now, in truth, all seriousness. God is worthy of your zeal. When you go to church, I encourage us, me too, let's be the most enthusiastic people. And even if you don't feel like being energetic, I, be, I believe if you and I just go ahead and determine to be energetic, we'll get the feelings for it later on. But you know, you go to church or you serve God or you go to work, you ought to go with a spring in your step. And we ought to think to ourselves, my God has been so good to me. My God has loved me, saved me. His word is eternal. My Jesus lives in my heart. And I get to serve the Lord today. So you know what I say to us, me, you, everybody? Let's have zeal for the Lord. Be passionate for God. This is Clint Louie. I hope you have a great day today.